so I've been working on some more designs again these are all uh, 12 bead patterns then I started working on one where it's like I really like this kind of zigzag pattern I did for uh, my stepdad's necklace but this little zigzag pattern I kind of think is cool so I started working around on that so I started in trying to do this pattern right here but I wanted to add some extra detail to this it's trying to do too much and too little of a space on the design it always looks real nice like oh it'll be real flush with each other but in reality every bead kind of stands on its own the space in between the beads really impacts any pattern so trying to shift rapidly from one color to another and tell a story at that level it's very challenging I'm going to try to use a rainbow of colors uh, in each one of these and already I'm seeing really big problems it's not going to work. It's not going to look good close up, it's not going to look good far away, it's just not going to look good. Even if I go with one single color to do that triangle embedded in the different colors it's going to look like crap. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot anyway with uh, one triangle here and then the other triangle up in there. You can see the edge of it poking around here. I'll get a few colors going on this and I'll try it and hopefully it will work. Maybe go with this, make them both white just flat out make them white and hope for the best so I've completed my first color uh, it's a very long pattern the uh, white triangles look like they're working out okay they're big enough anyway and there's a good space in between I'm really kinda liking how this pattern's gonna look Looks like the white triangles are making it after all. I judge my work pretty critically and I'm actually okay with how this is turning out. I've been worried about the different sizes, the different shape of the white, but uh, from the general viewing distance it's not really noticeable. As I said, I'm pretty hesitant to use the white up against a regular color. I, it's very risky to me compared to the black. Is, uh, has a nice strong border. The white border is looking a little wimpy especially given that I'm putting the color back in in the middle of it. But we'll see how it goes. I am running into trouble with this thick line. Uh, that's what the tweezers are for is to try and pull that needle through. Uh, sometimes it works and sometimes the bead breaks and yay! It's just sickening. Okay, so I've gone a little bit farther here, and the more I look at it, the more I want to pour gasoline on it and light it on fire. I think instead what I'll do is I'll just get my favorite scissors and cut this some bitch up. I think a lot of folks might look at this and go, eh, it's okay, but um, you got to hold yourself to high standard or it's not really yours. I don't like doing pieces where I come back and go, you know, that, that kind of sucked. Hey, you know what? I tried it. I'm glad I did it. And I'm thinking some other thoughts now. And I'm going to cut this down to where I can undo it some and start over. So I'm trying to figure out how far down to cut. I have to get all the way back to this bead right here. That very first white bead. So <laughs> almost back to square one. This is markedly better. Before I had the uh, two triangles, one here and one on the other side, I went ahead and joined them up with another black line and I went ahead and filled them with white. Sharp looking design. Coming along a little bit farther here. I know what will happen is I'm all stoked about this, I'll get it done and then a few weeks later I'll go, eh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, I heard an interesting phrase the other day, it said uh, uh, people get asked uh, like authors and things like that what's their most favorite piece they've ever done and they respond the one I'm currently working on I uh, certainly empathize with that so uh, one of the things I was really uh, worried about was balance you can see I've got one red color I'm gonna end up having really kinda three or four greenish colors I had to shorten my uh, color then I'm gonna skip over the light blue I had to pull that out light blue dark blue, dark purple, lighter purple. 
six, seven. I could argue with definitely all the way up to this point that I've got warm colors, but that's only one, two, three, four, five. And that would make, if that was considered green, I'd call it a greenish yellow. <laughs> so I'd still consider it a warm color to me because it's so light also. So that's a six right there. Then that leaves me one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's starting to get warm again. So I would count that one and that one as a neutral. They're not quite opposite each other though, you notice. I mean, uh, really this kind of purple should be opposite this yellow right here. So I've got like an extra color in there or whatever. The balance is off a little bit, but not too bad. So I, I debated dropping this color also and cutting up my work. But I just, it just moves so nice. This is such a nice transition through here, especially these four colors. I mean, look at that. That's really moving along really nicely. If anything, I would argue I should add another color over here. I do have a darker red. Or I could put a brown. Brown wouldn't really work with this situation because brown is like orange with very, very close to black or red very close to black. Um, and it, if I want to, I still haven't decided whether I'm going to wrap around or not. I don't think I am. Given what's going on here, I'm going to go to purple and then come back out. <laughs> I'm going to go to purple and, you know, that's way over here and then go back out to red, well I'm going to come all the way back. It's going to be a long necklace, fairly long necklace, even with what I'm doing right here. So not even having to add any smaller work or whatever, or a bunch of black. It's just, uh, it's going to be really interesting. Really good transitions. It's not looking too out of balance. I still have two more colors to go. I've come quite a ways, and I've reached my final color here with this purple. You can see I've uh, taken to heart what I learned from my last piece, and am um, making a reflective pattern or a pattern in the mirror, mirror that will let the other side be exactly the same, but in the opposite direction on the other side. So this will be the center piece. But now you can clearly see the uh, how this thing's coming along with the uh, color starting to flow back out again from that central piece. Not much to it, it's just execution now. There's really not a lot of thinking. Execution and design both have their own problems. I wish I was better at both. Beating isn't about trying to make money. I'm not really sure what beating is about for me. I have a real hard time talking about why I'm doing beating. Beating is more of an internal activity for me. I'm trying to understand some things about myself and my life. This is the medium that I'm doing it through. It's very personal. And yet here I am sharing it through videos. <laughs> Making good forward progress. Looking pretty cool. Moving right along. Got two more colors after this orange here. With the red, I'll have to undo this. Looks like all the way down to right here. Have to cut all this up. If you're into beads, it really is going to find out just how anal retentive you are. <laughs> how much you can stand, you know, having, oh, it's a black bead in the middle of the white. I can't take it. No, no, it's. <laughs> That's the whole beadwork right there. All I got left to do is to sew the ends together. Turned out to be 30 and a smidge over. Alright, so as you can see, we finished uh, sewing it together. Over here is where the final join was, but uh, man. that pattern turned out super. Um, you got a good balance of the white and the black with all the solid blocks of color in each area. Uh, you do get that general when you look way back. You got a nice rainbow pattern 
with the interspersed white the patterns are visible at some distance and upon closer inspection it's even cooler uh, this purple does have that unique pattern to make it reflective on each side that same pattern is also on the red there and critiques it's too big bigger than I really wanted this is the last truly warm color here this yellow and that's where it stops over here one two three four five six seven eight nine warm pieces and all the rest are cool so it's overbalanced to the cool colors which I would consider greens uh, blues and purples uh, again I was uh, earlier I was being wishy-washy and said well this purple is so purple it's getting close to red and it's kind of neutral and then I also kind of squeaked out and said well this green here has got a lot of yellow in it so I could get away with saying it's neutral too so even if I did that I subtracted those three out of there I still got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve versus nine so yeah it's overbalanced towards the cool colors if I was going to erase any of the colors it would have been towards the end of the spectrum into the blues and purples somehow and maybe jump from this blue straight to this purple here or just to this purple here and that would have balanced the piece and made it shorter if you follow this little path right here it doesn't quite meet up there's one set of beads that go straight through and I would have liked to have had those two there go in straight over here but there's just no way I could have made that design happen even though I talk about uh, varying things I think one of the strengths of this piece is that I kept the same pattern all the way through and simply varied the color and it really is interesting to the eye to watch the interactions between the black the white and whatever color I'm dealing with how it all flows together just really a uh, it's a nice piece I don't want anybody else to have it this is mine but that's not what's gonna happen I'm gonna end up giving this one away <laughs> I don't know who to but I, I hope I hope it brings as much joy to them as I had in making it it's just a pleasure to be given the uh, capabilities and opportunity to do things like this that's what it amounts to fun 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 I'm ready for the next one